I'm Hannah Crum, LA's Kombucha Mama. Welcome to Kombucha Camp. We're hanging out again with our good friend Brian O, raw food chef. Check out his cookbook, Raw in 10 Minutes. You'll be your own raw food chef in just 10 minutes. He's also got a really great iPhone app, Eco Chef. Check it out. Our videos are also there as well. Today, we're <laughs> going to be trying a delicious Japanese comfort food known as ramen. But today, it's going to be the raw organic living version. And we're using the best ingredient of all is Hannah's home brewery kombucha. Now, this is exciting because Usually people use miso or different ingredients. Now this is new and different. We're using kombucha in our recipes and it enhances the flavor, the uniqueness, the enzymes. It's really super healthy and delicious. How do we make this? All right, let's rock. So we're using a spiralizer okay. machine and we have some cut butternut squash and you just kind of twirl it a little bit okay. at, with a little bit of pressure. And as you can see, it makes noodles and oh. pastas and things. Look at, Look at how pretty, noodles. yeah, it's beautiful. They look so, great. I'm going to add that to um, the bowl. Here we go. Yeah, and I think we have enough noodles. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, cool. So, so what's our next step? Okay, so now we're going to pour the kombucha, and this becomes the broth or the soup. And it actually kind of absorbs in the butternut squash, and it gives it the, the cooked look and flavor, and it adds this unique flavor. It's so mm -hmm. delicious. When I use my rooibos kombucha, it oh. gives it a smokier flavor, Ooh. which helps add to that cooked flavor of the ramen. That would be wonderful. It gives the broth a little extra oomph. So let's add some garnishes, like okay. some parsley. Great. And I'm going to cut some radish. And this looks like the fish cake that you always see in the ramen mm -hmm. noodles. <laughs> So that's the fish our cake. Our non-fish fish cake. Yes, our <laughs> that's right. And then we use coconut that we opened previously and papaya, and we carve that into an egg. And so you just scoop the coconut and the papaya, and then it becomes like a boiled egg. And it's kind of cute and it's delicious too. Cool. And then we add that's some mushroom. And wasn't that amazing? In just a few minutes, we have your raw guy living Japanese ramen noodles. All right, let's check it out. Let's. There you go. Okay. Let's have a taste. Okay. Mm. <laughs> That's really good. It's delicious. Wow. Mm. That kombucha broth is really delicious. That's really good. Mm. I don't know. There's something really good about it that is. tart flavor. It mixes yeah. so well with yeah. all the other flavors. And you're getting the enzymes. And this is totally new. Like, no one has kombucha recipes with food. So, this is new territory and really exciting. <laughs> I'm going to eat it all. Yeah. <laughs> and it's very healthy, too. People ask me all the time does it really take a few minutes? Well, you saw it here first. <laughs> It really does. That's right. <laughs> and if you look really close, you can see some of the fizz action as the natural occurring mm -hmm. sugars in the butternut squash reacts with the kombucha. It gives it a little fizz. Mm -hmm. If you soak this overnight, like for 12 hours, or the longer you soak it in the fridge covered to protect it, it'll get softer and look and taste more cooked. Oh. Yeah. If you want it to be softer and have that really cooked flavor, you could do it the night before. The noodles are really soft now, and the broth has adopted the color of the noodles, which gives it more of that traditional mm. ramen broth mm -hmm. look. Mm. I highly recommend if you're going to soak this for 24 hours, definitely put the mushrooms in there to give it that extra body. Or you can make it fresh and it's kind of crunchy and crispy, depending on, you know, your mood and how you want the consistency. Uh oh, we're going to be like Lady uh, okay. and the Tram! Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 It tastes really good. Mm, I love noodles. You're gonna love this. You're really gonna enjoy mm -hmm. it. I bet if you put ginger in the kombucha, that'll add to the broth flavor. That's really creative. Yeah, you could add more flavors, make it exotic. Mm -hmm. That sounds really good. I hope you'll experiment and do leave us some comments about your different experiments with this delicious comfort food. Thanks for watching Kombucha Camp. We'll see you next time. Hey, keep up rocking it. <laughs>